What up, Wagwan? It's the same. It's in the Natalia. In this video, I'm going to be showing you a mask friendly makeup look. And I'm going to be using some fun Revlon products. So, of course, thank you to Revlon for sponsoring another video. I'm sure you've seen these in store. We have four of their Color Stay Lookbook eyeshadow palettes to choose from. First, starting off with the brows, I'm going to use the Color Stay Brow Creator. And this is the color Dark Brown 610. So, actually, for those of you who have wanted a brow tutorial from me, you're going to get one right Right now okay so make sure you are paying full attention alrighty so with the brow creator we've got obviously the spoolie on one side and then we have the pencil tip on the other side I love how this is dark brown because you know I like for my brows to be really dark especially at the tip since you know that the tip of my brows are cut off and that's on purpose that is just what I like I like to create brow strokes at the front of my brows so I'm taking a little bit of this right now and in up Upward stroke motions. Ooh, this is a good color. It's not too dark in the front. I'm gonna see what happens toward the end. All right, so as you saw, what I was doing was creating the upward stroke motions to really mimic actual brow hairs. I like to fill in the front because I just want it to be more defined and then really lightly doing the same at the bottom that I'm making, a, that I made a line underneath and I like my arch to be really high and that's what I did at the bottom here. And then I connected it at the top, light strokes, okay? We're not gonna like draw right off the rip. You wanna make sure you're doing some light, short strokes to then really get that shape that you want and now toward the end I'm gonna really press this in to get more color payoff that is how I do my brow so let's do the other side Okay, now the brows are done, right? But to me, I just like my tips to be a lot darker. So I am literally going to use a black liner. <laughs> Here's the Revlon Color Stay Eyeliner Pencil in the color black. Literally gonna use this on my brows and also in my waterline once we get to that stage. And we're gonna clean that up, so I'm not worried about that. Very lightly, now this is really pigmented, which is a good thing. I'm gonna fix that and you'll see. At the back of this Color Stay Brow Creator, I'm gonna take the spoolie, picking up some of this pigment and then bringing it in. So I'm gonna borrow some of the pigment at the end and bring it in so that I can create a gradient so that there's no harsh line. That is a brow. Okay, that is the way I do my brows, okay? So I want you to comment and let me know if you've used any of these products for your brows. And let's move on to the eyes. All right, so let's have some fun. I'm gonna match my mask, which is going to be a leopard mask. If you know me, leopard is my neutral color. I love leopard. Let's transition and get some eyeshadow down using the Rebel. This is number 930. I'm gonna move between this color and that color, these two right here. Obviously, we're all having to wear masks. You can really go dramatic with your eyes, obviously, or do something really natural. I'm gonna do something in the middle. I know some people who just do their eye makeup. If you just really wanna do something to your face and not look plain, you know, you just do your eye makeup, put your mask on, and because you're not taking it off the whole day or for your whole shift at work, it doesn't matter what you have on, right, underneath it. But you wanna, you may wanna really play up the eyes a little bit, so here's a way to do that. So putting down this transition color first, because we all know, if you've been here long enough, that the transition color is very important to me. There's no eyeshadow look that I do without a transition color. Tapping off the excess because that's always really important as well. I'm lightly blending this in, not pressing it too hard, and I'm going out to the end. Blend it right into your crease, and this is that first color. And now with the second color, which is right here at the end, I'm going to intensify that crease. Hello. So you can see that like it is a little bit deep. It's just that the light was so bright that you, you couldn't really tell. Alrighty, let's get a pop onto the eyelid. Okay, we're, we're really sticking in the neutral family right now. Let's see. 
You know what? I'm gonna just stick with the same palette, Rebel. Yeah, let's just stick with Rebel. Now I'm gonna use this lighter color here. And then to highlight my inner eye tear duct, I'm going to use this color here. Now I'm just deepening out my crease color with the same brownish plum type color that I used before. Let's keep this soft, daytime friendly. Soft and daytime friendly, you know? Go ahead and use the Revlon Color Stay Eyeliner and the 24 hour eyeliner in the color black, the same one that I used on my brow, putting it right here. We're gonna smudge this. So I'm just applying it in a very haphazard way. It's gonna be smudged, okay? Amazing, fantastimo. Same black eyeliner down to the bottom. And then of course we're gonna highlight the inner eye tear duct. You know, I live by that. I'm gonna take this yellowy gold color right here. This brush I'm using actually is the Revlon Crease Shadow Brush that I feel goes, works a lot better right here in the inner eye. Inner eye tear duct highlight, come on, that is really gonna highlight the eyes, make you look awake. It's like amazing, really, really cute. All righty. And then of course, Revlon So Fierce Big Bad Lash Mascara. This stuff is really good. Look at the difference. Look at that, like amazing, okay? Okay, I'm gonna add lashes, you know I have to. All right, now it's time to put the mask on, okay? And let's see how she looking, how she matching. You know I love pink, okay? You know I love pink, it's soft. And to me, pink is complementary to brown and black, okay? Ooh, how cute. Yes. Uh... Now how cute is this? So I hope that you enjoyed that fun mask friendly look. I enjoy that eyeshadow palette for sure. The pink has got some kind of shimmer to it. So really, really cute. Links to products are down below. And as always, I am glad that you are here. I am glad that you watched this video. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up and I want you to comment and let me know if you plan on trying out this mask friendly eyeshadow look. Thanks for watching. Bye.